What's up guys? Uh, today I'm doing a drill that's inspired by the movie Collateral with Tom Cruise. Uh, the sequence of fire is uh, similar to a Mozambique drill or a variation of. Larry Vickers also does a video of this very same uh, shot for shot sequence, so you guys should go check that out. Basically how it works is Tom Cruise uh, encounters these two thugs in an alleyway uh, that has stolen his briefcase. And uh, one of them's got a gun at him, so he draws, fires two from the hip on the first target, moves to the second target, puts both hands on the weapon, two to the chest, one to the head. So here's a little clip of the, uh, the scene from the movie, and then I'm gonna run the drill. Yo, homie. Is that my briefcase? Is your briefcase? Yeah, it is. Why, you want it back? How about your wallet? What else you got for me? Huh? All right, guys, now there's a couple things about this scene that I think have to be mentioned, um, which is first and foremost, there is the initial batting away of the firearm from the threat, which is key. Now, after Tom Cruise bats away the firearm and gets it offline, he then has the wherewithal to bring his hand away from his muzzle as he goes to fire off his two shots from the hip. So it's really cool that you see him push that muzzle away and then you definitely could flag your own hand and shoot yourself if you don't then return that hand to your body and get it away from the muzzle before you crack off those shots. And then in the Larry Vickers video, which I would encourage you to go watch, he talks about how in order to pull off a shot from the hip, one, you want to pin that uh, elbow into your body and then you're trying to get the firearm center line with your head uh, because for obvious reasons, you're looking at the target, you're not looking down the sights. So if you can line up your eyes with the target and the gun's lined up with your head, then you're kind of already getting that one axis already on. And then he is so close that where it is important that you're not cranked up in the air or you're shoved all the way down, if you have a normal firing grip and you bring the gun center line, you should hit your, uh, your center mass of your first target. Now, Another thing that I think is was really cool uh, within that movie scene, and then also it's something that it's it's not exactly practical to do it on the range, but there was your two shots, and then when he switched to the second threat, it was two shots center mass, and then a moving headshot on that target as it fell, which is really cool. It's easy, as you see in the drill that I'm doing, because I have static um, paper targets where it's just boom, 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 and then your headshot, but it would be really cool. And again, I know it's a movie scene, but it adds another element to the drill or to the uh, sequence of fire when you have that target that is then falling and you're trying to get your headshot there uh, on the last target. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I encourage you to go try this drill. It's really fun. It's not nearly as difficult as it looks. It looks really cool, but it's actually pretty easy. The most important thing, obviously, is getting that support hand away from your muzzle. So when you do draw from your holster, make sure that this hand is tight to your body, and then you get that center line with the muzzle of your gun and crank off your shots, and then get your uh, support hand up as you're acquiring your target and then transitioning. So. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on that notification bell, let me know what you guys think of my videos. And again, as always, keep shooting.